Hey, this is Jeremy here from Nox3 Tutorials. If you want to make a post request in Nox3 using Fetch, this is all you need to do. I'm gonna remove um, the headers here. This is all you need, right? You probably you don't you don't even need to leave this away. This is probably I'm I'm making a a, a request to a, a function that will return a promise. But this is all you need, right? So you have the Fetch plugin in Nox3, and then this is the endpoint, and then post. In this particular instance, we're trying to create a user. So we have a user, we get the user data, right? We expect to re return a promise of a JSON response, which is a type that we created. And then all you need is just method post, and that's it. And you send the data to the server. And, um, and that's it. If you wanna send, in the body, then you send the body. And this is how we're sending this user in the body. If you wanna send some headers with your post request, this is how you do it. And that's it. All right, I hope you like this video. If you wanna learn about Nox3 authentication, I have a tutorial where I teach people, where I teach my students that are serious about authentication, right? Where you can create an app that looks like this, comes with a register, login, and you're gonna learn how to do things like hash passwords, how to create cookies and sessions. It's really cool. So you can log in, let's say um, Rachel wants to log in here, meaning Rachel has already been created in the database, right? And so Rachel can log in and then you can go to the dashboard settings and all that. It teaches you authentication. And we're using Argon2 here, which is like one of the best uh, hash, one, one way, uh, password hashing algorithms out there when Rachel logs out she can't go back she can't because she's not logged in I'm gonna show you how to do that we're gonna build this from scratch so if you want to learn Nox3 authentication click the link below I'll see you in the next video I hope you like this one all right I'll see you later bye